know there's nothing like blue flannel for a man. Uh, this one, single-breasted, of course. Now we need a top coat. Let me see what you have in camel's hair. Edith Head is one of the most influential and iconic costume designers in Hollywood history. With nearly 500 credits, 35 Oscar nominations, and a record eight Oscar wins, she really was the most noted costume designer of the 20th century. Some of my favorite Edith Head costume designs are in Sunset Boulevard, worn by the incredible Gloria Swanson. And it's a black and white film, and keeping in mind that she could design as well in black and white as she could as in color, what I find remarkable about this film is she had to design costumes in the 1950s that looked like they would be worn in the 1920s. Because of course, Gloria Swanson's character, Norma Desmond, is very much still stuck in the 1920s. It was much less about making Gloria Swanson look glamorous and more so about illustrating through costume a woman's descent into madness. She looks a lot older up close. Mm -hmm. To a mere child, anything over 20 might seem old. A child? Shall we stand in shallower water and discuss that? Edith Head is most noted for being the longtime collaborator with Alfred Hitchcock and really designing the majority of the costumes for his entire filmography. Uh, one of these films, To Catch a Thief, featured some of her favorite costumes and it featured the actress that she liked working with the most, Grace Kelly. The costumes she designed for To Catch a Thief are both glamorous and stunning, worn by one of the most beautiful women who ever appeared on screen. But she also points out often in interviews that she had to make her look gaudy at times. And this is certainly the case with the gold lame ball gown that she wears. Edith Head knew that it wasn't necessarily about making everyone look glamorous. It was really about what was right for the scene. And so if you contrast Grace Kelly's gorgeous blue dress with that gold lame, it really does tell the story for her character of where her psychology is. They said you were dead. Don't make a big thing out of it. No, make a big thing out of it. One of the things Edith Head always pointed out in interviews was that she designed far more costumes for men than she did for women. And she was incredibly proud of how she could dress actors like Paul Newman and Robert Redford in period pieces like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. For her, costume design was much more about telling a story than making someone look good. And she didn't really accept the role as making someone glamorous. She wanted to really tell the story as it was played on the screenplay through fabric and cuts and design. She really was the most versatile and influential costume designer in the history of film. What is your favorite movie costume? Tell us below and subscribe for more from Hollywood Suite.